Civil Danger Warning, the following message is a request of the New York City Police Department at 8.46 a.m. Reports are coming in that a plane crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. It's unknown it was a commercial plane or private plane, and it's also unknown if this was accidental or act of terrorism. Reports are coming that bodies are falling out of the tower, if you're within one. Mile radius of the World Trade Center is advised to evacuate immediately to avoid being hit by falling debris, falling bodies or burning material and it's advised that you leave the area so law enforcement and the fire department can have access to assist people leaving the tower. The following message is a request of the New York City Police Department at 9.03 a.m. Another plane crashed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. Now it's believed that is a terrorist attack. All residents in high-rise buildings are being evacuated at this time. Everyone within one mile radius of the World Trade Center are advised to evacuate immediately. The crashes has caused severe damage to both towers. The towers may collapse at any time. Stay away from this area. The following message is a request of the United States government, the North and South Towers of the World Trade Center were hit with planes, it's believed that this is a terrorist attack, due to this, the FAA has banned all takeoffs of flights going to New York City or though the airspace of the city, and the port authorities closed all bridges and tunnels in the New York City area, stand by for updates, the emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt your programming, this is a national emergency, important instructions will follow. The following message has been requested by the United States government. At 9.37 a.m. a plane crashed into the Pentagon in Arlington County, Virginia. Around 100 military personnel and civilians died as a result of this attack. Shortly after it was learned that the plane along with the two planes that crashed into the World Trade Center in Manhattan have been hijacked by allocated terrorists and crashed them into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. At 9.42 a.m., the FAA has grounded all flights in the United States and all airports have been closed. All flights planning to enter us airspace are immediately to be diverted to Canada or Alaska. The White House and Capitol may be evacuated. It's very likely that there will be more of these attacks. All residents in the United States are urged to seek shelter now. If you're in a high-rise building evacuate now has it most likely be the next target. All emergency personnel are to be on standby status and are to be ready for active duty at a moment's. The president will be speaking on all stations shortly. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming at the request of the United States government to participate in the emergency alert system during this emergency. Most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. We are KFWR and we will continue serving the Fort Worth area. If you're not in this area you should tune to a station providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving news and information for the Fort Worth area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. 
The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is a request of the New York City Police Department. At 9.59 a.m. the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed to the ground causing a huge billow of smoke to spread across the island of Manhattan. All residents of Manhattan are advised to stay indoors with all doors and windows locked and turn off any heating or air conditioning to prevent smoke from entering your house. If you're outside and unable to avoid the smoke use a tissue and cover your nose and mouth. As of now the city of New York is going on lockdown evacuation in the city has begun. The following message is a request of the Somerset Sheriff Department. The Somerset Sheriff Department has issued a law enforcement warning for the town of Shanksville. At 10.03 a.m., a commercial plane has crashed into a field in the town of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It is unknown if this is related to the attacks of the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Law enforcement in the local fire department are on the way to investigate and look for survivors. If you're within the vicinity of the crash you're asked to leave the area so law enforcement can investigate and look for survivors. Message is a request of the New York City Police Department. At 10:28 a.m., the North Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed to the ground, causing another huge billow of smoke to spread across the island of Manhattan. Residents of Manhattan are advised to stay indoors with all doors and windows locked and turn off any heating or air conditioning if you're outside and you're not able to avoid the smoke. Use a tissue and cover your nose and mouth. As of now, the city of New York is going on lockdown. Evacuation in the city has begun. This is an emergency action termination, the attacks across the United States has ceased, terrorist group Al-Qaeda were responsible for the attacks, the leader Osama bin Laden is present on US soil the nationwide manhunt for Osama bin Laden is now in effect until further notice, hijackers, took over four commercial airplanes and two planes crashed into the twin towers of the World Trade Center, causing them to suffer from severe damage and to collapse. One airplane crashed into the Pentagon destroying one of its walls. Flight 93 was hijacked and was going for the White House or the Capitol until the passengers on board fight the terrorists and crashed into a field in Shanksville. Everyone on all four flights was killed. The final death tool is 2977. Please stand for the national anthem of the United States and may let the souls be with us tonight.
That was the national anthem of the United States. This concludes operations under the emergency alert system. All broadcast and cable systems may now resume regular programming.